bring on my good friend John Bodge, the third, and our entrepreneur spotlight. And it goes like this. Hit it! Entrepreneur Spotlight. Now this guy, John Bodge, known him for a while. He's an athlete. He's a ball player, supposedly. But you know what? He's an artist in my eyes, and he's fantastic. So I'd like to bring on Mr. John Bodge first on the show. Uh, how you doing, Jasmine? What's Live up, and direct. Bro? How you doing? What's up? How you doing? Are you, are you giving me the uh, Jamaican accent tonight or what? Yes, what yes, yes, Jamaican accent. I think yeah. I'm Hussein Bolt. Anyway, I'm more nervous on the phone than I've ever been on air. Wow. Really? Yeah, that's we different. Talk all, yeah. Well, I appreciate you coming on. Um, you know, like, like I get, you know, told the intro a little bit, and, of course, we talked throughout the anniversary event. John Bodge, the Third, uh, of course, he's got a fantastic sports background, which we'll get into, but he, oh, my goodness, I always tell him this. God is in his paintbrush and pencil and pen and whatever you want to call it that he may use to uh, create these masterpieces. He was the female field guide artiste for uh, our event. And, uh, you know, be sure to check the Overtime's uh, YouTube page because I'll be showing some of uh, John Bodge's art. But I know you, John, but, you know, let the listeners yeah. know a little bit about your sports, and athletic background? Hmm. Well, I would like to say I wasn't the, uh, in high school, I wasn't an extreme ball player. Played mm-hmm. JV basketball. But then, you know, when I got out, I guess the sport became in the brush and in the pen. Mm. And uh, since then, you know, I've been teaching uh, as an art teacher, and I actually coached uh, boys b-ball, all grades, junior high, girls basketball, boys junior high. And also women, okay. uh, actually a women's adult intramural tournament, Indonesian oh. exclusively almost. Yeah, it was really, really different coaching women, you know, a little more emotional, and uh, they play hard, you know, not to say That's the right. guys don't, but they too also. And yeah. then I took a little stab at uh, bodybuilding one time, and uh, Wait I a think minute. because, uh, yeah, that was kind of awkward. I probably shouldn't have said anything, you know. John, you know what, I I appreciate you bringing that up because I was going to bring it up, but I appreciate you just just, just coming out with it because I was going to get you. Please share with me how you came upon, you know, the whole bodybuilding world and how how did that go for you, brother? Well, you know, what it was is that I was just going through some of my life and Mm -hmm. I remember I had a a little gut and I sat there and I said, you know what, a guy by the name of Butch Dennis, um, Okay. He has a, we was with the Christian Bodybuilding Network. He came to me and said, man, with a smoky voice, brother, you got to get yourself in shape. So when I went to the gym, uh, yeah. the brother is no joke. Yeah, he put me in yeah. a tip-top shape. So I was an organic, I wasn't a muscle mass kind of guy. It was the organic bodybuilding. So when I did that, the most embarrassing, well, let's say the most nervous thing is being on stage in front of all those people. Yeah. You know, and then just getting this trophy here, you know, which was cool. It was fun. You know, yeah. I think I, um, it wasn't not that many people at once, so I kind of went second place because there were two people that were there, <laughs> you know, in my division. <laughs> Wait, John, here's the question I have for you, brother. Yeah. Uh, did someone oil you up or you oiled yourself up? That's I oiled myself. Okay, you oiled yourself up. <laughs> I oiled myself, and my homegirl oiled me up. She was a good friend of mine. It was actually at, um, it was actually at Crenshaw Christian Center, uh, Maine, Auditorium. It was one of the biggest okay. competitions they would always have. So, you know, I couldn't reach behind my legs, and so, you know, they had to warm me up back there. So I didn't need tanning lotion because I was already tanning, too. So, exactly. You know, it was kind of kind of different. You know, I was just, you know, yeah. it's a lot of, yeah. Well, you know, you know what different. I love about you, John Bosch the Third, is that, uh, you know, you, you try new things. You, you're not afraid to just mm-hmm. venture out and step out of your comfort yeah. zone, and that's how you gain fantastic relationships and friendships. So I'm glad you brought that up because I was going to talk about the bodybuilding experience, um, and I'll probably <laughs> bring it up next time we talk on the phone. But, of course, uh, the reason why we have reconnected um, is your art. My yeah. friend, tell me, I, I mean, I know that you've probably been drawing and painting for a long time, but when did you realize, wow, this is a gift from God? I, I'm i good at this. Talk about just when art really became a piece of you. Well, I think, um, you know, my father, the late John Sumner Barnes Jr., um, mm-hmm. gave me a stack of computer paper. And uh, as a three-year-old, you know, sitting there in front of him, he kind of knew the talent. You know, and then he mm. just kept giving it to me, and then finally got to the point to where I would draw Garfield comics, and it looked like the mm. actual comic. And I'm what four or five years old, 
And yeah. so since then, you know, I try a little bit of everything, but I think with the creative process, it starts with, I always talk about male seeds. This may seem like it's nothing art-related, but it always starts with the father in the home. You know, and mm-hmm. so just seeing my father, you know, I realized that after the age six, he really didn't know how to draw. I'm like, man, mm-hmm. you're not really that good. But it was just, <laughs> it was just he had to be that, you know, that source point that I needed to have. So now I, 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 I have this creative energy that's like, um, it's like six, it's like seven feet tall, and three hundred pounds. And yeah. I'm five foot eight, a buck eighty five, and they just want to come yeah. out, you know. So yeah. I experiment with sculpting, uh, installations, painting on shoes. I can do forensic art, uh, uh, courtroom illustrations, portrait art, uh, anything, all types of mediums. So that's you know, right. I, but I, I like you, to, yeah, yeah. You do it all, my friend, uh, and and you know you you touched upon that some sneakers. I had a couple of my buddies that used to play in the NFL or currently play in the NFL donate their uh, their signatures. And John Bodge the uh, third yeah. really has some dope pieces, and you also uh, will be showing that on the overtime video. But um, you know you're you're paying homage to Al Davis, the two Raider sneakers. I mean they were absolutely yeah. fantastic, and we'll be able to show that, and of course on your on your uh, website as well. Now we're gonna keep, of course in art, but we're talking sports because you brought up bodybuilding. I'm going to bring out something to you because I thought you were going to talk about it. We've got a challenge. <laughs> we've got a commonalities. Uh, you know, we, we've we grown tight because, you know, both of our fathers did pass away. and We, we want to live and, and make sure that they are proud of us. That's one commonality we have and how we bond. Yeah. But we're both Uh-oh. basketball players. And listeners, John Bart's the third. It doesn't matter if we're in a heavy conversation talking about business, the future, life, you know what I mean, our passions and dreams. This brother will find a way to challenge me in my basketball skills. Now, for those of you that are personal friends with me know that I am currently nursing a shoulder injury. But mark my word, ladies and gentlemen, I love sports, and so does John. And so, therefore, he has challenged me, and I accept that challenge to either play a one-on-one, horse, whatever. And all I know is that the probability of me winning is very high. That's all I know. Okay, um, um, studies, you know. Check, check this out. 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> <laughs> see, let me see. See, you have, you know what you have? You're up there in your uh, Star Trek control board. Remember the sister that had yeah. her, you know, every season, you know, you only saw the back of her head. You know, but you <laughs> let me be Captain Kirk, and, and I'll, I'll manage this one here. But, you know, until you get your head, you know, your, your body healed, you know, it'll just be taught. You know what I mean? It's just yeah. win and opportunity. The win's already passed and opportunity's here, but, you know, it, it doesn't look good look good for the listeners for a man to challenge a woman like this unless I give you six points and give you the ball. Oh, no. And we go oh, to no, you ten. Didn't. John Barge, what did I say? <laughs> I can meet you in on the corner off of White right now, but because my shoulder's busted, I don't want to have any no whatsoever when I beat you, lady my listeners, you hear this? When I beat you, John Barson third, I'm gonna be tip top healthy, I don't have any excuses. So listen, we'll bring the cameras out, we'll we'll put it on U stream, all that stuff. But all all yeah. jokes aside, I I look forward to that John Bosch. But of course you're you know you're, 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 you're what? Hmm. You know you know what it is? I, I don't know, you know, I, I can't post you up because I'm too strong. So what I'll do if oh. I run around and you know, I take you to the goal. That's what I do. <laughs> Don't, yeah, I just, I John, just I think, I think we're just going to make it today. And, and, and look, when we win, oh, there has to be uh-huh. a, you know, consequences in the end of this. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, maybe we'll, maybe we'll open up a poll question or something like that. Uh, you know, what should the winner be? What should the yeah, winner I do? Think this, should be like good. this should be national because we have listeners from, I guess, all over the world. Someone just hit me on Facebook like, hey, I'm listening, I'm listening. So, I mean, yeah. it's big. I mean, we can go to, you know, we can do soccer, whatever. You know, someone say, let's play soccer. You know, so you have your feet, though, right? So yeah, I have, have a I have shoulder, I'm, you know. a, I'm a point guard. John Barge is yeah. I'm a point guard. So listen, but use a point guard are fun. easy fast, right? Yeah, just give me like 15 okay. minutes to stretch, John Barge the third. Okay. Listen, right. we can I'm talk mess to each other. Oh, uh, I know I can, I'm telling you. But this makes you tight hair, you know, I'll be easy. I'm just so, you know, <laughs> shoot the easy jump shots. Tight hair, I'll make it happen, you know. But, oh, uh, it's, John it's Barge. Not only can right. you... Uh, not only can you create masterpieces, but you can also create a lot of mess talking over the phone. <laughs> now, before before we go, my friend, uh, yes. you have some great pieces that I want all the listeners to know about. I want them to be able to go on your website, follow you on Facebook, because I know there's people that have seen your pieces and they want to buy something or they want to, you know, yeah. ask you to do a signature piece. Please, uh, you know, share with the listeners, um, you know, 
where can they, you know, find your information, see some of your pieces? Um, I know that you have a dope Troy Palomalo piece, a Mike Tyson piece that's dope. Yes. Um, a Kobe Bryant piece. <laughs> Oh, I'm oh, sorry, no. my hand, my hand slipped. Lord, geez. Bill, the, the, you live the, where? The in great... California, right? I was born and raised in California. California thank right? you. Yes, thank you Ladies for Ladies and gentlemen, Celtic fan in California. Yes. But, I yes. mean, we'll get into that later, uh, if there even yeah. is going to be any basketball, but we could talk about that all, all day. But, um, John Barnes III, yeah. please share okay. with, uh, you know, where the, where the listeners can just, you know, get your pieces, man. You're dope. Yes. Well, www.artofjohnbarge.com. Three, the number three dot weebly dot com. That's the sponsor link. Also on Facebook, the Art of John Bar J O H J O H N. Of course, not the J O N J O H N B A R G E. The third room number three. Um, Art of John Barge product and artist or public figure, however you want to look at it. And just go on there. When you go on there, uh, you can actually I can give this number on air three two three five six eight six five zero eight. That's where you can call direct and get some artwork done. So anything you do, I do everything from uh, artwork at actual sporting events. Um, I'm actually doing an actual piece for an um, Atlanta Falcon a ball player. Uh, and also uh, I'll be showing at with the Diaspora Collective in February. Also, um, I just want to put a plug in also for 20 Miles East Gallery, John and Mia Lee. They actually are yeah. facilitating a lot of my art there. Nina Farina. Uh, um through Ebony Robinson uh, doing a fashion line there uh, at her boutique and also her line. Uh, so just working with several other people and just excited. I want to give a shout-out to all to my culinary animal people because we're actually – where Jasmine was one of the hosts on the show and we kind of did it yeah. there also. Uh, but, yeah, everything there, um, like I said, call the number 323-568-6508 or go to the website, com. When you go into the link, just add your name or put an email response, and I can just call you back, or my artist rep can call you back also. All right? That's right. Now, uh, John Barge, you know, speaking of which, you're, you're the creative producer uh, of Culling Your Animal. Share with the listeners. This is a wonderful time to talk about that. That's coming up, and I think it's just, it's the dopest show. Uh, share with yeah. the listeners a little bit about what Culling Your Animal is and, um, you know, how you are a part of such an awesome project. Yeah, well, Culinary Animal basically is, is an uh, animal show about feeding behaviors, and so we're basically getting some things together for some of the networks, and so just look out for that. Um, we basically shot a lot of sh- uh, uh, shoots with several animals, wolves, wild birds, uh, birds nice. of prey. Uh, we even had a miniature horse that gobbled a horse gelatin bar that we created. <laughs> we also had uh, your host, Jasmine, actually do a segment where she was the host kind of taglining or, or relating the uh, sports. What, what, what am I trying to say, Jasmine? The it was sports, hawks and birds, yeah. Yeah, hawks and birds and relating the NFL teams that use birds as, as mascots. And so we're raising money also for wildwings.org, uh, and so they're a, actually a um, particular organization that, that basically takes rehabilitated birds, and so we're exclusively uh, helping them out also in some upcoming shoots. But other than that, yeah. you know, I, I, going back to the art, to so Detroit Palomaro, there's a new style that I'm working with where I'm incorporating Nestle Coffee and also Starbucks, which donated uh, some coffee grains for a show I did last night of Heavy D at Club Phoenix. And so John I'm just Martin incorporating. Sir, it's, it's, yeah. it's about time that Starbucks contribute some new because yes. the amount of time you spend there, brother, how many meetings have we had, you know? So it's about time, yeah. my friend. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yes. Yes. Please be. Uh, make sure you check out uh, uh, my YouTube channel, the Female Soul Guide YouTube channel. I'm going to be posting the segment that I did with John and with Donna from uh, Wild Wings of California. Fantastic. I straight yeah. had a hawk on my arm. It was exhilarating. John has nerve to crazy. try to say I'm going to be in there. What? Some tigers or something crazy? So, yeah, black ladies leopard. and gents, you heard it. If my face gets bitten off, it's because of John Bars the third. So, brother, I appreciate you coming on. Of yeah. course, a wonderful entrepreneur. You're so inspirational, and I appreciate you bringing listeners to my show. Um, and I hope we have some lifelong fans. But, Brosif, come on yes. anytime you want. This is John Bars the third for our entrepreneur spotlight. Thanks, court. bro, for coming on. See me on All the right. court. All right, see you in the court. <laughs> <laughs> oh.